Hey, hey, Mr. Mannheim, did you have a chance to look over that uh, sample radio column I knocked out this morning? Oh, is that yours? I thought that was by Somerset Mom. First two paragraphs were straight out of cakes and ale. Okay, mister, I'll come quietly. Oh, well, never mind that. Hey, listen. If you didn't want to see that show, why'd you take the tickets? Well, you take it easy, Mr. Mannheim. I didn't find out till the last minute I couldn't go. So rather than let the tickets go to waste, I give them to husband. Well, there's nothing wrong with that except for one small detail. You didn't give them, you sold them. Well, that's one way of looking at it. On the other hand, you could say I saved him the five bucks extra it would have cost him to get him from a scalper. Well, you could say that, but you'd be the only one who could. Why don't you be a good kid and give him his money back? He's having his troubles, too. Uh, I'd give him back his lousy couple of bucks, but I can't. I spent it already. You know, Mr. Mannheim, this is the first pair of new shoes I ever had in my life. That's what happens when you're the kid brother and all you get is the hand-me-downs. Oh. Needed shoes that badly? Why don't you tell me? I'm usually good for touch if it means going without shoes. No, thanks, Mr. Mannheim. I don't go in for favors. That's for suckers. This way you're sore for a couple of days and I don't owe you nothing. You don't owe me anything. Okay. Have it your way. I don't owe you anything. Except maybe a little respect. After all, you're my mentor. Oh? I like that word, Al. Mentor? I heard you use it the other day, so I looked it up in the dictionary. Hey, uh, can I buy you a drink, Al? Oh, thanks. I've got one back there that's beginning to miss me. I've got some news for you. All right, Crowley, what's up now? From now on, I want you to write your column 30 lines shorter all the time. Wait a minute. I'd like to hear one good reason why. And so you shall. From now on, we're using Sammy Glick's radio column. You mean a Sammy Glick, the copy boy? No, no. I'm referring to Sammy Glick, the radio columnist. He gave me his first piece this afternoon, and I'm running it. I'd interest you to know that he copied half that from Somerset Maugham. You don't say. Well, maybe that's where you ought to go for your material. 